one. Uh, we're about to begin the uh, fourth and final press conference of this meeting. Uh, there have been uh, daily press conferences that have been very interesting. I'm Richard Gralla. I'm a medical oncologist and I'm co-chair of the communications committee for the uh, IASLC and it's my privilege to chair today's session. Uh, we will have brief presentations on these important uh, uh, abstracts and then take questions and we'll do one at a time uh, with one minor uh, exception to that. Uh, these abstracts are considered to be very important uh, submissions of studies that can change the way that oncologists do their practice uh, immediately. And uh, these are things that can change the way we diagnose patients, treat complications, and treat cancer. And uh, so uh, of the uh, many thousand abstracts uh, that were submitted, these are the four that are felt that could have the biggest impact in a, a very short period of time and give us uh, new information. We will deal with, uh, first of all, a uh, chemotherapeutic agent, a new chemotherapeutic agent in uh, small cell lung cancer. We'll then talk about one of the most common complications of cancer, lung cancer and others, and uh, treating that complication if, uh, more effectively than we've been able to do before. And uh, then we will look at two page papers that deal with um, modern ways of staging patients uh, with non-small cell lung cancer and as you know the staging of the cancer is so important to determine treatment. Um, so uh, I'm, in one minute I'm going to call upon uh, Dr. Van Paul from uh, Germany to talk with us about a new agent in small cell lung cancer. As you know, uh, if, you, if you want to sit there or you want to come up here is fine. Come on, uh, Joachim. As you know, about 15% of all lung cancer is small cell lung cancer. Lung cancer is so common that 15% of uh, patients worldwide with lung cancer is a huge number of, uh, of patients. And uh, unlike non-small cell lung cancer, where some of the newest and most interesting findings in non-small cell have dealt with targeted agents, molecularly targeted agents, in small cell lung cancer, the uh, treatment uh, with chemotherapy is more effective and there are not so many targeted agents that, uh, that have promise in small cell. So having a new agent um, that can replace the uh, or improve upon the commonly used second line agent uh, uh, is a real advance in the treatment of this disease. So I'd like to uh, ask Dr. Joachim von Paul to uh, uh, tell us about his very interesting and large study. Thank you, Dr. Gra. I present shortly the data of our randomized phase three trial of amrubicin versus topotecan as second line treatment for small cell lung cancer. Dr. Gra said something about the background. Small cell lung cancer is a typical smoking related cancer that compromises approximately 15% of all lung cancer in the Western world. While small cell lung cancer is responsive to initial chemotherapy, patients relapse or progressive uh, rapidly. Once patients progress following initial therapy, the medium survival time is around six months. Amrubicin is a third line generation anthracycline and a potent topoisomerase 2 inhibitor approved in Japan for the treatment of small cell lung cancer and non-small lung cancer. In phase two trials, amrubicin showed promising activity in second line treatment of small cell lung cancer <coughs> and uh, in particular in patients who did not respond to their first line therapy or who progressed within 90 days of completing first line therapy. That's a so-called refractory patient, small cell lung cancer. Here is a, a trial, uh, the eligibility criteria were small cell lung cancer sensitive or refractory and one and only one prior platinum based chemotherapy patient got. Uh, the randomization was in a, a two to one uh, way and the patients got amrubicin 40 milligrams per square meter over three days and topotecan in the usual dose with 1.5 milligram per square meter over five days, three weekly. 
The survival data from all patients, 637, did not show a real difference. But if we go in the subgroups, we can see a difference, especially in the refractory patients. That's a problem in treating small cell lung cancer are the refractory patients. Uh, and uh, here we have a real uh, substantial value. We have a, a, a 6.2 months versus 5.8 months. And what you can see in the curves, like uh, in the upper curve in the intent to treat that we have uh, in the yellow one, the amrubicin arm, has a much more long-term survivors as the topotecan people. Here in the refractory patients, you can see the same. We have a significant P, uh, uh, median overall survival, and then we have a, a big part of long-term survivors. The sensitive patients are equal. All secondary endpoints shown a statistically significant improvement in the amrubicin arm. The response rate was improved from 17 to 31 with amrubicin duration of response but doubled, translating into a benefit in long-term survival as I showed you. The lung cancer symptoms and the quality of life were significantly improved with amrubicin. Uh, you see, in the upper scale, you see the symptoms worsening, and the white columns are topotecan. And you can see in the first column uh, the, that it's a total tumor burden, what the patient's reporting over six cycles or five cycles. And you can see a clear improvement uh, in, the, uh, in the green. Amrubicin uh, against a worsening for topotecan, and the same for all for all the other things like appetite, cough, and uh, shortening of breath. As I have published, when I compared topotecan with cough, palliation of disease-related symptoms are is an important objective of therapy, as small cell lung cancer patients who feel first-line therapy generally are not curable. And that is what helped to get uh, Topotecan approved. In this study, we showed, we demonstrate that amrubicin leads to better symptom palliation than Topotecan, and that's for me the most important thing. The conclusion's primary endpoint of survival was not st uh, statistically significant different. All secondary endpoints favored amrubicin, the response rate, duration of response, progression-free survival, improved symptom control and quality of life. An improvement in survival in refractory patients was observed. The safety profile of amrubicin is acceptable. Increased infection mitigated by the use of growth factors, fewer blood transfusions. Um, Rubicin provides improved tumor and symptom control over topodecan. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Van Paul. Uh, questions for Dr. Van Paul? Um, you didn't talk uh, right now too much about the safety profile. In the abstract, it appeared to me that it was a bit of an easier drug to use than uh, topodecan. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and with uh, a few fewer side effects. F fewer side effects. Okay. How about the fact that this is given, I, 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 as I recall, uh, once every three weeks as opposed to the five days in a row of the topo? Well, uh, amrubicin is given over three days. Over three days. So three, three days, days versus, versus five. five yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, that's perhaps a slight convenience uh, benefit um, yes. uh, in that regard. Okay. And. Uh, any other questions, further questions uh, for Dr. Van Paul? Please come to the microphone. Thanks. Could you just uh, repeat the median survival uh, data? I did not get it in, in, in the uh, relevant subgroup. Uh, in the sensitive, it was uh, seven point, uh, 9 .3 months, uh, the median survival. And in the refractory, was uh, for the amrubicin, uh, 6.2 versus 5.8. And the median survival for all patients was 7.3 months. That's better than with our old uh, topotecan or calf studies regarding to the third line therapies. Dr. Van Paul has uh, published previously uh, both one of the key papers for uh, topotecan to be uh, available, and, on, and uh, much of his work uh, 
has helped us a lot in our thinking on, on small cell uh, lung cancer, especially in second line. Uh, I agree with you that the improved symptom control, and you used the validated LCSS symptom uh, scale yeah. uh, issue, is perhaps the most important thing here. A somewhat easier regimen to use than the older one associated with more symptom relief. We are glad to see a trend towards improved survival, but uh, uh, having a symptom control is perhaps, uh, in this uh, group of patients, is, as Dr. Van Powell told us, perhaps a, a really major goal. Thank you very much, Dr. Van Powell. Thank you.